Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from computergargar.com and in this video we are going to look at how to group times into irregular intervals using the VLOOKUP function. So I have been releasing some videos recently on how to group times in kind of different types of intervals in different ways. This one's looking at irregular intervals. So on the right hand side here, I've created a table where maybe in the line of work that I have, I have to categorize the times that I have on a spreadsheet into these intervals between midnight and six in the morning is still night. Six and 11 is classified as morning. 11 and five is classified as daytime and so on. And I use that in reporting purposes. So in column C here, I'm going to use the VLOOKUP function to return the correct category, correct interval, if you will, for each time in this list. Now, it's essential for this to work that the times in column E are sorted in order. And you can see it's done like that, which is why night is in there twice, because I needed the post 10 o'clock kind of shift and the post zero, should we say, shift. So in cell C2, let me start my VLOOKUP function. And the lookup value will be the time. I'm going to put a link in the description of this video to my ultimate VLOOKUP uh, kind of blog post that I've done, which covers all the ins and outs of how to use VLOOKUP, just in case anybody watching this is not that familiar with the function. Carrying on, I'm going to put a comma after cell B2 here. And the table array will be this table on the right hand side here, where I've categorized each time, each shift, if you will. I'm going to make that an absolute reference, put in my comma. So now I'm prompted for the column index number, and that's going to be number two. So the interval, night, morning, daytime, evening, is the second column of my table. And after a comma, I will type true to specify an approximate match because now I am looking within a range. I do want a range lookup. Uh, these times fit within those intervals. Close in bracket and enter. And if I copy that down, that has created those intervals for me. So in previous videos, We've looked at these regular intervals at like every four hours or every 30 minutes. This is a situation where it's not like that. So in the morning is just five hours and the daytime is, what is that, eight hours and so on. They are irregular intervals. So I've created this lookup table and use my V lookup now. So if I scroll down, I can see quarter past one is the daytime, you know, and it's returning the correct interval for me. VLOOKUP is such a useful function, which for any of you watching and have used it before will hopefully testify uh, to that. It's so versatile, there are so many reasons to use it. And I've got some other videos on my YouTube channel which talk about the various ways VLOOKUP can help. So if you're interested, feel free to search and, uh, and hunt out some of those to uh, improve your or increase your learning. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you find it useful. Please check out some of our other videos on our YouTube channel and come check us out at computergargar.com.